Hey everybody, welcome to Elevate Applicate. I gotta work on a name for you guys. You're like the, the Elevation Nation or something like that. But I briefly wanna make this video why you should become a pesticide applicator. And it stems from a conversation that I had with a friend and a peer and a mentor of mine. And basically we were talking about how the pesticide applicator demographic of who is a pesticide applicator is changing. Um, but not in the way that we like. So if you don't know, uh, I run a pest control company over here in Michigan, Ditch the Itch, Poison Ivy, and Mosquito Control Services, and I have a second company, Elevate Applicate. And Elevate Applicate is all about education. Um, if you don't know anything about me and you haven't watched any previous videos, I am also an educator for pesticide applicators here in Michigan for one of the largest associations for the green industry. It's called the Michigan Green Industry Association. And what I see in these classes is that the average age of a pesticide applicator that's going to these classes, they're roughly upper 30s, 40s year olds, 50 year olds, maybe a couple of 20 year olds, maybe a teenager. So the pesticide applicator demographic of who's out there doing this, they're aging. And you can see that there's less and less people that are willing to come into this industry. And I don't know why, I don't know if it's because the younger generation has bad negative connotations towards pesticides, if they don't wanna do that. But you know, I was just reading a Wall Street Journal article that young, the, the younger generations are now looking into um, getting into the trades. And believe it or not, being a pesticide applicator is absolutely a trade, okay? You can get into this industry and it's very lucrative if you get into it and it absolutely is a trade you have specific skill sets that sets you apart from a landscaper or a guy that mows lawns or what have you right you can learn these things you can manage insects you can manage insects on the outside of people's property you can manage insects on the inside of people's property you can manage insects of trees and shrubs you can manage insect you can manage mosquitoes you can manage mice you can manage bed bugs you can man there's so many different avenues that you can go down the road of being a pesticide applicator. It's unreal, okay? And it's wide open. And what we were talking about, this, this mentor of mine and myself, we were talking about how, what could happen. And what could happen is that as these pesticide applicators are aging, what are they gonna do with their businesses? They're gonna sell them. Who are they gonna sell them to? They're gonna sell them to the large corporations that are gonna buy them. And then you're not gonna have very much variety and choice in the market. Plus these guys, they're already driving prices down like wild. So it would be wise, it would be wise of people to come into this industry. Even if you just get your license, at least now it opens up doors, right? You see people that are constantly looking for uh, various jobs and job opportunities out there. And the green industry, pesticide applicator, the companies that do this, they are looking for people left and right. I'm looking for people in my own company. And so I know if I'm looking, other people are looking, right? So I would just advise you that if you're seeing this video and you're wondering what to do in life, read some books, read some books on becoming a pesticide applicator, go through our national course series, uh, take the practice exam and see what it talks about and if it interests you, right? See, see if it's something you want to do. But there's so many different avenues that you can go down and it's amazing, right? I, I've, been in, I've been a licensed pesticide applicator for the last 11 years and it's changed my life. You know, I was a, just a regular grunt working for a company and then I left and I started my own company and now I'm in year five of my own company, which is kind of wild to think that five years has already gone by. But it's, it's made it to where I can live a lifestyle that I want. I work six, seven months out of the year. And then I come home and hang out with my kids and my family. I'm allowed to be a present father. I'm allowed to be a present husband. I'm allowed to be around, you know, my property. So I would encourage you, take a look at it. What, what do you got to lose by looking at becoming a pesticide applicator, right? We need younger people in this industry. We really do. And there is a plethora 
of opportunity for you out there if you're young and you get into this industry. I promise you. Because there's way too many people that are aging and getting out of this industry. There's going to be a huge gap. That's a good place to be if you can see it. If you can see the future, which I'm telling you, it's aging. People are going to get out of this business. There's going to be a gap. It's going to cause prices to skyrocket because there's no manpower. It's just, it's something to look into. Okay. I just want to be honest with you. Like I said, this channel's changing a little bit, um, but we're still going to be talking about the same things, right? Pesticide applicators, pesticide applications. And then later this year, I'll get back into the education. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you. And if you like this content, like, and subscribe, look forward to hearing from you. Leave me a comment. And yeah, other than that, take care. God bless.